So let's talk about the most powerful antidote to anxiety. Now to do this, it's helpful to think about the process of anxiety, how that works, no matter what the situation might be. So in order to feel anxiety, we start with some kind of uncertainty. There's some outcome that we care about and we don't know how it's gonna go. And that can be pretty much anything. And then in order to feel anxiety, we're gonna have some kind of, of fear. One is a fear that there's gonna be a bad outcome. Things aren't gonna go the way I want them to. But then that's not enough usually to trigger anxiety. We need a second fear, and that is a fear that I can't handle it, that it's gonna be overwhelming, it's gonna to be too much for me. So when we see these things together, there's uncertainty, I fear a bad outcome, and I worry that I won't be able to handle it. That's when we tend to see anxiety. Now, a lot of treatments for anxiety tend to focus on that first fear, the fear that something bad is gonna happen. And so in, in cognitive therapy, this is what we do a lot. So we'll, we'll ask, you know, well, what's the prediction? What do you assume is gonna happen? How likely is that? Has it happened in the past? Has it, is it likely in this situation? What's the evidence for and against it? And that can be really effective. That can be a really good place to work. It has limitations though. The main one is that bad things do happen. And there might be a really small probability of what we're afraid of, but it's not zero. And our anxiety thrives on that non-zero probability of what we're afraid of happening. So I find the most powerful way through our anxiety is to focus in on that second point, that second fear that I can't handle it, and ask ourselves, is that actually true? And to focus instead on seeing ourselves deal with whatever it is. Because life, as I'm sure you know at this point, really is a series of problems, a series of challenges that we face. And so we can focus on overcoming whatever happens to us instead of kind of feeling like a victim of circumstances and assuming that, well, things have to go this way and if they don't, then it's gonna be really bad, it's gonna be insurmountable, it's gonna be a total catastrophe. So we're really shifting from a problem focus to more of a coping focus. Because I'm confident that no matter what problems you might face, that you can handle them. Even if we're temporarily overwhelmed, even if it's more than we can deal with at that moment, that you'll find the strength, you'll find the support, you'll find the resources. And this is just based on the fact that you've done this in the past. That you've done whatever you've needed to do to face problems, to keep going, to get where you are now. Now, this approach really took on new meaning to me when I was going through a chronic illness and one that I'm, I'm still dealing with to a certain extent. I had so much anxiety about what was gonna happen. Was I gonna get better? Was this gonna drag on and on? Was I gonna have to stop working in the way that I had been working because of the physical limitations? Was it gonna affect our finances? Were we gonna run out of money? Were we gonna to have to, to start building up credit card debt? And what I found is some of those things did happen. And yet, things were okay. And the more I focused on not trying to make sure that things were gonna get easier, but focusing on the strength that I could find to meet those challenges, that's when I really found a kind of peace that didn't depend on my circumstances. It didn't depend on things going my way, but rather I could find that no matter what was happening, no matter what thing I was afraid of, am I gonna get sick? Yeah, that can happen. Am I gonna have problems at work? Yes, that might happen. But will I be able to handle it? So I would encourage you to, to shift your focus in that direction and see what happens. It takes practice because our minds are so attuned to this kind of, are things gonna be good or bad? Are they gonna be for me or against me? We can open instead to, all right, 
let's see what this day brings. Let's see what life brings. And let's see what I'm going to bring to each situation. Because our life, really the, the story of our life, is much less about what problems happen. And it's much more about what we do in response to those. So I hope you find this helpful. Thanks for watching.